Hello and welcome back to the second episode of Hardcore 1.19 that is. So, last episode we were, you know, starting work on this house here. And I tore down the initial staircase, also planted this and did some more work. But I haven't finished it yet. And I was thinking of making an oak staircase instead of the initial mangrove one I was starting on. I've also done a little bit of mining, so we started a mine over there. And other than that, I haven't actually done much. So in this episode, I'm hoping I can get a little bit more tools and just get better off in general. So this is going to be the staircase. We're going to have a door here. And for the rest to go on now, I need to collect some spruce from that thing there. Now, um, I was going to excavate this, but for now, I want this spruce and I'm going to fill it back up with, you know, some, some cobblestone so I know where to place the spruce back. Because I want to kind of preserve this thing and dig it out at some point. So for now, I'm just gonna have cobblestone here instead. And there we go. Basically, same as it was. And I should replace that with spruce later. But with this spruce wood, I can turn it into this. And then make a couple of stairs and trap doors. The amount of stairs needed is an amount I won't have enough for. But what I want to do with it at least is this. On each side, we're going to have a little bit of steerage going on. Right here, perfect. And now I need a total of six trap doors. And I'm going to place each of those right here on top of that and close them. And there we go. Now I can just fill this up with cobblestone, because I'm not going to see that anyway. And I guess fill this up with mud. And then start placing the dirt in, because this is where our farm is going to be. All the water I have are going to go in these uh, roots here. Because I can waterlog those. And unfortunately, I still don't own a bed, so nighttime is a big oof. Oh, and that's neat. You can place it on top of this. Nice. And just to get myself started, I'm gonna have these three barrels here. And that's my storage for now. Unfortunately, there is no water close. I also don't have the required resources, so I can't really start planting stuff yet. I mean, I could actually try. Fill that, place that there, and boom. I don't think it'll grow, though. This is a very efficient method of just planting. Nice. I didn't notice until now. Very cool. Anyway, our task for today should be to gather resources now. I have my base completely secure, at least at the downstairs level. As you know, it's completely locked off. And I have a little bit of storage. Other than that, there's, there's not much going for me. I guess I should really do this too. Yep. And with two more pickaxes, actually combine these. There we go. And with these resources, I should be good to go on mine. I have doors because there's an underwater portion here that I can't really get past. Unless I have doors. But yeah, let's hopefully find some iron because I'm tired of these tools. Lapis, that's not what I want. Oh, and I finally find some iron. Nice. So let's mine up this. And I think my first goal should be to make a bucket. And this is surely enough to create one. Awesome. Now it looked like this cave was cut off. So if I mine behind here, there should be more and there is. Luckily, this seems pretty deep, and there's an amethyst geode here, which is nice, and some more iron. Awesome. Oh my goodness, okay. And uh, what's an iron pick? <laughs> the game knows what I want. And pumpkin seeds, that's pretty cool. Some rails, and beetroot. Okay. Bro, what is this? Oh, if I break this too, it's... Oh, yeah, it stays in one. And we have our first amethyst geode. Okay. And let's break this. Awesome. Dude, I couldn't have asked for anything else. This is amazing. I'm gonna explore a little bit of this and hopefully I find some more iron, which is right here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Oh gosh, okay, this spans for quite a bit. Okay, well, hey, uh, I'm locking off this for now until I get way better gear because that's, a, you know, poisonous spider spawner. And we don't want anything to do with that. And there's lots of iron here too. Awesome. Another minecart. What is it here? <gasps> Diamond. First diamond of the series. Let's go. And a piece of iron as well. And some bread. A more beetroot name tag. That's awesome. And there we go. First diamond. Sick. I'm hearing lots of things over here, which means there's probably a cave. Oh no, there's more mine shaft. All right. I'll leave exploring that to another day when I have better gear. And probably better tools. Oh, Amethyst Geode again. Oh, this is just a big basalt. Okay. Here's transition down. Is this an iron bin? Oh my gosh, I think we've just found an iron vein. Sick. There's a lot of iron here. Enderman and lots of stuff. Awesome. Okay. Although I'm not going to go there until I'm better geared. Because right now I have no armor. This is 100% an amethyst geode. Awesome. And let's get back up. 
right here. Oh, there's more iron here. Oh, and it's turning daytime too. Perfect. And it is time to smell the iron I have found. I need to move that stuff inside here. Let's go get some water so we can finally start actually getting our crops watered. And I'm going to have my infinite water source right behind here. And with this, water along the roots. Awesome. This is such a cool feature. And I can keep the torches on there too. The roots kind of blend in too. That's awesome. There we go. Our water waterlogged. All right. And with this, I now have 41 iron and I can make a whole set of iron armor. And of course, some tools. So, here we go. Amazing. I have an iron axe. This is going to be so great. And let's make a shovel and another pickaxe. There we go. And it is now time to get some water and also chop down the rest of these oak trees because I really do need oak trees for this. Also need a lot of charcoal, so that's what we're going to use birch trees for. We do also need a bunch of leaves. I'm going to make some shears. And I only have eight valuable pieces of iron left now. I do also need a bunch more spruce wood, so it looks like I'll have to tear down more of this fire chip. All right, and I've preserved everything with cobblestone now, so I just need to pick this up, and there we go. It, it looks very varied, but it'll look better in the future, and we'll repair it. But for now, this should give me enough resources to actually make what I wanted to, which was convert all of this, take the rest of these, and make a whole bunch of stairs. I think 40 may have been too many. Oops. This is correct. 40 was a little bit too many. Oh, well, we have some for the future now. And now we need a bunch of trapdoors. And there we go. Okay. And now, honestly, with a house like this, I think uh, I, I need to start getting more wood and stuff. So maybe I should search for a spruce biome, dark oak, and all the other jungle or, I mean, not jungle types, but all the other wood types as well. Would also be nice to find a village. So what I'm going to do is go on an adventure. Hopefully, I'll find a bunch of new stuff that I need. That's a massive coral reef over there, and I think I see a shipwreck. I do see something in the distance here. That's for sure. And there's another shipwreck over there, on top of the coral reef. And a nether portal. Right, so what is this? Oh, it's an amethyst geode. Right, I tried it, man. Oh, gosh. That hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Ha <laughs> ha Hello, shipwreck, how you do? Interesting. And a treasure map, some books and paper. Ooh, leggings. Lots of wheat too, and potatoes. Leggings with thorns. Doesn't really matter, honestly. And then we have the treasure place, which is right here, hopefully. There we go. Oh, not too good, honestly. And splash. This is really pretty, honestly. Like, it, it really is pretty with these coral reefs. So colorful. Here's our first block of gold. Awesome. Let's just stand here. Awesome. And a looting sword. That's good fortune. Efficiency five. All right. And a clock and some flint. Awesome. Looks like my treasure map is going to take me back to, you know, where I live. And it looks like I'm coming right up on it now. And it is very close here. Right here. All right. Well, what do we get? Iron sword. Guess that's not too bad. A bunch of iron and water breathing potion. Oh my gosh. Finally, I had to travel so far for this stuff. But now we finally got some spruce wood. Let's go. And I come in a bunch of it and now we'll replace the shipwreck that I, you know, originally took from. But this means at least I can go back on the boat right back and be happy about spruce wood. I just need a bunch of saplings now. And hopefully I can finish my house because I do still actually need a lot of mangrove for it. And I do believe I actually do not have enough mangrove wood currently to finish the house. Ooh, we should also try to grab some, uh, you know, bushes when we're here. You know, the the, the, the raspberry thingy things. I, I don't remember what kind of bushes they are. Right, and I have a bunch of spruce saplings, which is great. So now I can head back and there's a cow here. Hello. Uh, sorry, I need food. Ah. Uh, oh my goodness, this was right here? Seriously? That's amazing. Gold, and a chest of two obsidian, and some other stuff. All right, well, let's head back. I'm on my way back here, and I just spotted melons, which is amazing. Let's go. Nice. All right, perfect. Anything more? Nah, it's good. I've also come up from the river I was driving through because I saw a cactus here, which I don't have yet, which means I can collect that too and start farming that. Awesome. Oh, I need to drop something. That. And here we are. Unfortunately, I found no sheep when I was out exploring, so no bad. Now something I need to do is smelt up a bunch of sand. And it's time to gather some leaves. Now with these leaves, I can finally start construction on the last part of the house, or I mean the main part of the house, 
But I also need to kill a bunch of spiders because I would like to make a bed. Oh, and there are phantoms because I haven't slept. All right. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh, gosh, I got to get underground. Uh, okay, well, I got to wait out the night now. It's kind of sad that since I haven't found a single sheep, I literally have to wait out the night because of phantoms. Oh, well. We're currently out of, on day five out of who knows how many, though. All right, and I believe... I Yeah, okay, I waited long enough. All right, so the plan is to place leaves on top of these. That'll add some aesthetic to it. And I need to use charcoal to smelt up some more charcoal. And a little bit more fence. And there we go. All the leaves are in place. And now I just need to get all that charcoal so I can make campfires and put them here. Now for the main build, one, two, three, four. We're going to leave it at four for now, but all of these are going to go up four. Except this one. I think this one can stay at three, so I need to do that. And boom. We have that and that. And now even more logs going across. This is taking a lot. I don't even know if I have enough. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. I do not have enough, but I'm getting pretty close. Now for all the mangrove. Goes right here. Actually, this is the door, so it doesn't go right here. And I need a new axe because this one's completely broken. I'm gonna put all the spruce wood I got to good use by making trap doors. And of course, a door. Now I've gotta figure out what to do for the floor. I think he just regular oak wood is fine. Should be. We can always change it later. And there we go. Now I have a general layout of the house. And even though I don't have this wall in place yet, it's going to be something like this. So I just need to place trap doors. And a door facing that way. Perfect. You also believe I should have something along the same lines right here. But this time it's not going to protrude into the house. Like on this one. And there we go. Perfect. Ooh, okay, that's not looking too bad. All right. And with some mangrove wood that didn't come from the middle of the forest. Nope, nope. We can finish that. And this. Perfect. And now I still have these. I'm going to do something like this. This is where I can place my crafting table and stuff like that. And same with that one. And we need some more stairs here. Which I do not have enough of, unfortunately. But now we just need some windows. Oh, and I have enough fences. Perfect. All right. Nice. I just need a bunch of glass panes. And placing all those here. And with that, I have a place I can almost call home. With, uh, you know, so a place I can fall down. Perfect. Uh, I will actually put something there. But I'll leave it like that for now. And there we go. Now I just need to wait for the charcoal. And then we have... You know, a way better house than we did before. We also have full iron armor and everything. So I think we made good progress in today's episode. Maybe I can work on this farm a little bit. But wait for all these things to grow. Yeah, I believe this is actually pretty good. I can make myself a little hiding room in here. Perfect. Just like this. Okay. And now I have a little room I can sit in. I'll have to wait for phantoms to go away. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. With that, I guess... I'll end off today's episode. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.